is something great about the feeling to use what you already have, what you see or find around you. I once read in a book that we all have an artist inside of us, and the more you let the artist express itself, the more happy and free you feel. I think it's true, and that's why I love so much about recycling and transforming things. And instead of going out and buy a new thing, I like to save time, money and pollution and see what I have at home. But all that is just a huge bonus. My first reason to do all these DIYs with trash and leftovers is for an ecological reason. To help protecting the planet by consuming less. I once found this little rock next to a trash bin and it's pretty obviously why someone wanted to throw it away. But I knew that I could split it up and use the yarn for something else. I really liked the texture of the white yarn and immediately knew that I wanted to do a summer macrame with it. So I took it back home with me and put it in the washing machine. I suddenly realized that I had yarn enough for my macrame and so I decided to leave the rug as it is because I've been wanting a little rug for the bathroom for quite a while. So I tied a knot around the yarn sticking out to create a line of fringes like the other side. And I cut off the ends of the original fringes so they look like the one I just made. Et voilà, perfect size! I kept the leftovers for later use and look at all that yarn I got out of it, besides a little rug. My mom keeps me all her leftovers from knitting and even short pieces like this is useful. I love the blue-green color that reminds me of our lake, the Geneva Lake, or it could look like sea plants. And I will add these seashells that I took back home with me from a holiday in Denmark. I can't believe that this is made of yarn that were both supposed to go to the trash bin and being burned. And then some seashells and driftwood. 100% eco-friendly and free. In the beginning of spring my daughter's rain boot had a tiny hole somewhere because water was coming in. So she couldn't use them anymore as rain boots and so I draw a line to follow and cut them down to make this kind of plastic roof. Just an easy shoe to put on and take off when running around in the garden. The next trick is one of my favorite because it's such an amazing, useful transformation. When me and my daughter got a hole in our stocking, I washed them as usual and then I cut off the ends and then I cut the rest in slices of about 2 cm, so not even 1 inch. They mustn't be too thin because they're going to roll on themselves and will be much thinner in a moment. They will be a new kind of rubber bands and I even cut the belly section for really big bands. I use them for so many things. I put some of them in my bathroom for my hair to do the ponytail. And I leave some in the kitchen for sometimes closing a garbage bag. Or bags with food items. For drying my flower bouquets as I showed in my garden video. And for so many things in my daughter's room. They are really kids friendly because they are all soft and not dangerous for the eyes as a regular rubber band. The next recycling project is these old slippers. 
They are so worn out that this is embarrassing, but I'll show it to you anyway. I'm going to cut off the two hearts. There are this kind of heart embroidery that you can even buy in certain shops. You may put them on a bag or whatever you like. My daughter had a hole on the knees on her leggings, so I sew them on there to cover it up. She also had another legging with holes in and for these I cut the lower part off. I'm keeping the fabric for later use and the leggings has now become a summer leggings. All our clothes I give to thrift shops or helping organizations if they're in good condition. If not, I keep the fabric and create things out of it. I would like to make some fish for decorating the terrace this summer and I'll use a template that I printed out from Google. I just wrote how to draw a fish and a lot of options was coming up. So I just need one more of these and I'll use some old button for the eyes and then sew them together remembering to add a string to hang them with. And I stuffed them with the fringes and small pieces I cut off the little rug in the beginning of the video. All this summer decor from old shirts and jeans, they will hang here in my office while waiting for summer. On these sandals, the string between the toe broke on one of them, and I'm going to cut off the section with the stones. They can easily be sewn on a bag or something, so one day I will give them to my thrift shop. But for right now I'll keep them as a diamond necklace when my daughter is playing princess or playing with her makeup doll. I found this little stool at the recycling center and wanted to save it from the trash bin. One of the legs is rather loose, so it's not stable enough to sit on, but just fine for a plant or so. So I did some sanding and used the paint I had. One is from a thrift shop and the other one, almost new, I took at the recycling center, though I don't think it's really permitted. I mixed them together to make a medium blue color and so got three different kinds of blue. On the wood I used some natural oil that I quickly added just by using my hands. I find it rather cute and it can be used for so many things. In a children's room or in a bathroom to throw your clothes on before a shower, or maybe as a bedside table. But I'll keep it in my office because I always need some extra space to drop off some future DIYs. My daughter had this water bottle where some plastic broke off and so there's a hole and the water runs out. I want to make it into a vase because the shape is good and I'm using the same light blue color as for the stool. It became really pretty and the matte painting made it look even more like ceramic. It ended up in my daughter's room because she really liked it. The next DIY I'm pretty happy about. It's a lantern from the garden with a little solar collector on the top that makes it possible for the light to turn on at night time. But after some years the solar collector is completely destroyed. So I'm going to transform it into a candle holder. I cut off the string and break off this plastic for the string to make it more stable because I will use it upside down. I took out the metal wire and will spray paint it white because it has this cold silver color. I know the spray paint is very harmful to the planet so I'll never buy it just for some DIYs. This is the leftovers from when we renovated our van and could only access with spray paint. I really like the result and look how pretty it is at night time. 
and it only took me about three minutes to make. This chair I brought in my thrift shop for two euros, but after three years with sun and rain in the garden, it's completely destroyed. Well, not completely, because the structure is still perfect and the last layer of fabric as well. So I will just very quickly turn it into an indoor chair using just a blanket to cover it up. I'll use the black spray paint for this one before it will dry out and I just have to throw it away. I have two broken suitcases. This one is missing a wheel so it can't stand up by itself anymore plus the handle is loose. But they are excellent for storing all the Christmas decoration. So much easier than several cardboard boxes and funny knowing that it has been with me to so many countries. The hard one I keep for all the decoration which is fragile so I know that it is well protected. Remember this Christmas crib I made a video about? I will put the link in the description below. It doesn't have to be a Christmas crib, it could also be an inspiration for making a kind of dollhouse for your children or a little cottage for their Playmobil or maybe something else. Let me know your ideas. This big piece of soft thick plastic used to be a shower curtain. It came with a van when we brought it but it was all you know orange brown at the bottom. So I cut off the bottom and put it in the washing machine and then cut it into five pieces. So one I use under the Christmas tree rock so the humidity doesn't make marks on the wood floor. Another piece is used as a tablecloth when we do brunch and the grease from the bacon is going everywhere. A big and a small piece is used for DIYs and I even have one more which is in the van for protecting the couch when eating, especially when my daughter was younger. Our mirror once fell down and broke at the bottom, so I flipped it upside down and placed some photos to cover it up and let it live a little bit longer. This was an extremely long broom I found in the forest. Yes, some people throw their garbage there. My husband cut it into two pieces and fixed them side by side on a piece of scrap wood. And we now use it for cleaning our boots from mud. We had another broom which broke so we cut off the middle piece with a stick and it gave us two small brooms which is easy to store away for quick cleaning. Last one is this lemon squeezer. It had a big container that I didn't film, but it broke and I wanted to keep the squeezer itself because you can always put it in a bowl of some kind and still use it. My daughter got the idea that maybe we could separate the lid and it was much easier than I thought it would be and that gave us a complete lemon squeezer. So please think twice before throwing something away. And by the way, thank you so much to all the people who set things next to the bin, so people passing by have the opportunity to pick it up. And thanks for subscribing and please let me know in the comments section if you have any recycling transformations ideas that you would like to share. Have fun!